This institution is an equal opportunity provider. Hi, my name is Logan Moon, and I'm here today to help you get started with your Google Chromebook. So what is a Chromebook? It's a laptop that uses the Google operating system. It does not use Windows or Mac OS. However, you can download Microsoft products if need be. Let's get started with the ports. Depending on the manufacturer, the port layout might be a little different. However, I'm going to go with the standard Google manufactured port system. So the first thing you should see on the right side is the audio jack, which allows you to connect headphones and earbuds to listen to audio. The next thing is a micro SD card reader which allows you to add more storage to your device. Next to that, there's a USB port, which allows you to connect external devices, such as a keyboard and mouse. Next to that, there's an AC charging port, which allows you to charge your laptop. There should be a little small light next to it that allows you to know whether the battery is fully charged, charging, or it's not charging at all. On the left side of your Chromebook, you will see a ca security cable slot, an HDMI port, and a USB port. The HDMI port allows you to connect audio and television screens to your device. Moving on. Moving on, let's look at the display. You'll see on your screen multiple holes on the top of your display. The smallest one is the internal microphone which allows you to record audio. Next to that there is a camera. The camera allows you to take pictures and do video calls. Next to that, there's a little light. This light allows you to know whether the camera is on or off. Moving on, you should see a speaker next to your keyboard. And the speaker allows you to listen to audio from your device. At the top right corner of your keyboard, you should see an on and off button. Pressing the button once makes your laptop go to sleep. Holding it down for 10 seconds allows it to go fully shut down. If you shut this down fully when you're doing uh, pro any projects, your data might be lost. Just keep that in mind. Let's move on to some keys. Located on the top part of your keyboard, you should see this layout. So the first button you should see is the escape button. This allows you to exit out to your desktop from any web page. Next to that there is the left arrow which allows you to go back to the first page you opened and the right key which allows you to go to the next page. Next to that, there's the reset button, which allows you to reset any web page that you have opened that has any issues, such as freezing. Next to that, there's a button that allows you to go full screen when you're watching any videos. Next to that, there you can see another button that allows you to see your tabs and open web pages, which is the opposite of the full screen. Next to that, you'll see a small little star, which allows you to decrease your screen's brightness. And next to that, the bigger star allows you to increase your brightness. Next to that, on the right side, you will also see a 
little speaker with a cross going through. That means that you can completely mute any audio coming from your laptop. Next to that, you can have... Next to that, there's a little button that allows you to decrease any audio coming from your laptop. And the next audio button allows you to increase volume. That's all for the keyboard. So let's move on to actually setting up your Chromebook. So the first thing I want you to do is to plug in your Chromebook and turn it on. It will ask you to select the language and connect to any internet. So what you want to do is you want to click your language and then connect to whatever Wi-Fi, whether you're doing this from home or from a government buildings such as a library, you want to connect to any of the Wi-Fi. After you have done that, it will ask you to sign in to a Google account or create an account. What you want to do is if you haven't created an account, you want to press create an account. Once you are opened, it will ask you to create a Gmail. The Gmail is basically the email that you'll use all the time for Google. So your email should look something like your name, some numbers, some symbols, and then at the end it'll be gmail.com. And after that it'll ask you to create a password. So once you created a password, it'll ask you to sign in. This means basically to put in your newly made email and then put in your password then press sign in now you should be on the desktop on the bottom of the blue screen there that is the shelf the shelf holds the launcher any pinned apps and the clock so the launcher allows you to access apps while the pinned apps allow you to quickly open things like Google, Gmail, Google Docs, YouTube, the Play Store, and any files you have. On the, on the far right, bottom right of your screen, you should see the clock. Pressing that will open a little pullout. This ha this allows you to sign out, switch Google accounts, turn off your computer, lock your computer, go into settings, connect, choose your internet, turn it on and off Bluetooth, capture your screen, turn on privacy screen, turn on nightlight, change your volume, and change your brightness. That's all I have today, folks, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.